Hello, my dear colleagues. Hope you are okay and healthy and that all your families are okay. Unfortunately, we cannot be together in Singapore, but anyway, we have this option of Zoom and I truly hope that we can share any opinions, even virtually, okay? So I'm calling from Portugal. My name is Anna. Thank you, Eurasia, for the invitation, for once again, for inviting me to, to be a speaker here in this conference. And I'm going to share my screen. So my topic will be mentoring and CPD, the two best friends of any engaged professional, okay? First things first, what is CPD, okay? CPD, maintenance and enhancement of the knowledge, expertise and competence of professionals throughout their careers according to a plan formulated with regard to the needs of the professional, the employer, the profession and the society. So the main idea is here, maintenance, enhancement of knowledge, expertise, competence throughout their careers, very important, throughout, not only once, throughout. According to a plan, we all need to have a plan and we need to make, create that plan according to our needs, our needs first. And then according to the needs of our employers, or if we are independent workers, our professional needs. According to the needs of the professional, profession, sorry, and the society. Now, three main topics. Um, continuing professional development, CPD. Okay, continuing, continuous development, of course, because we can never stop learning. Seek to improve knowledge, skills, and performance. Regular investment of time in learning as an essential part of professional life and not as an optional extra. Please bear in mind, not as an optional extra. Okay, um, I'm highlighting this because CPD is not an extra and is not optional. We all need to do it according to our needs, as you will see a bit further, but um, we need to see CPD as a way of improving and as a way of development, okay? Professional, active interest in the continuous development and improvement of self and others at both organizational individual levels. Learning objectives should be clear and serve individual and ideally clients and organizational needs, okay? Development. We need to make a realistic assessment of what needs to be learned in order to meet the demands of the ever-changing professional and business worlds. We know everything is changing. We have seen this with COVID. The, wor the whole world changed in less than six months. Everything changed. So things can change daily or by the minute. Development if owned and managed by the individual, learning from all experiences combined with reflection as a key activity. We need to think of what we are doing, why, when, with whom, alone, together, with what purpose. Working effectively and inclusively with colleagues, clients, stakeholders, customers, teams and individuals, both within and outside of the organization, okay? We are not alone in the world and we need help. We always need help from somebody, from some colleagues. So we cannot be alone and we need to work with everyone around us, even if we are in our houses, in front of our computer. Benefits of CPD, skills improvement, of course, because we go and have a course, a BA, an MA, an MBA, PhD, a summer course, webinar, workshop, doesn't matter. But the main aim is improving skills, okay? Improve knowledge because we improve skills and we improve knowledge, okay? Because we read, we learn, we go to classes and everything. And if we have the skills and the knowledge, we can improve our networking and we can direct our networking to some specific people or areas, okay? If we have the skills, the knowledge, and the contacts, we will have a better performance. We will be better than our neighbors. If we have the skills, the knowledge, the contacts, and the performance, we will be self-confident. And if we, be, if we are self-confident, we reduce our stress levels. Of course, we reduce the ones who are, which are extra stress levels. 
not the normal ones because all humans are stressed of course we are not we do not stress if we are in a spa of course but the rest of the time we are stressed all we are always stressed with something competitive edge regarding our competitors so very important and of course earning potential because if we have the skills the knowledge the context the performance if we are self-confident if we don't have any stress if we have a competitive edge we have our earning potential just rocket to the sky very important this sentence of professor professor shibaniri if we don't know what the profession is why it is a profession and what our role is in its maintenance and development then we cannot expect others to see this nor can we expect them to value what we do as professionals unless we maintain and develop our professional status okay we need to understand what we do, why we do it, and with what purpose. And we need to enlighten people around us why we are important, why we do this, why we don't do that, and why we are professionals. Okay? It's up to us. What makes you a professional? Managing relations, of course. And you might be thinking, well, Anna, but we are all in... in uh, um, distance work we are in our houses because of COVID and we don't see people yes but we need to manage relations even though we have meetings on zoom doesn't matter constructive relationships dealing with conflicts very important engaging in reflective practice okay again to think critical thinking we need to analyze what we do and to analyze what others do we need to adopt professional values and ethical standards okay we need to stand up for our profession if we don't do it no one will do it will do it for us support research and developments of course if somebody's writing a thesis please answer the questionnaires it's horrible for people trying to gather data and try to show the world that something works if we don't have the data okay respect for human rights and diversity okay needed as usual okay human rights diversity more than ever now okay think about it respect for all stakeholders and be part of an association translators economists uh, managers teachers doesn't matter just stand up for your professional please don't forget also regarding cpd mentoring we'll talk about it in 10 seconds one minute cpd needs the needs are yours. Please don't get any brainwash of somebody. Oh, you need to do this course. It's amazing. What's amazing for me, it's not amazing for you and vice versa. So you need to focus on your private needs, not with for, on others' needs. What is good for somebody is not good for you. You need to know what you can offer. If you know what you can offer, you're the best. If we don't know, we are lost. Okay, return on investment because we cannot be hypocrites. We need to have a return on investment because otherwise everything would close. Okay, all the companies would close. We need to think of how much we are going to earn. Okay, networking is essential and it works. So be careful. Social media, please forget Facebook, Instagram, all those strange things now. But LinkedIn is very, very effective. Okay, please try it if you if you never have. International CPD, very important for your curriculum. Conferences, as we are doing here, workshops, webinars, doesn't matter, okay? Now, regarding mentoring, um, there are lots of definitions for mentoring. There are more than 100 definitions because every book published regarding mentoring, the first thing the author wants to do is to give definition so i picked here six i'm going just to pick three to read okay can be first one mentoring is a process where one person offers help guidance advice and support to facilitate the learning and development of another person second one mentoring is a distinct relationship where one person the mentor supports the learning development and progress of another person the mentee and now the last one number six 
Mentoring is a method of learning and development whereby the mentor uses his or her knowledge, expertise, and experience to assist the mentee in developing critical thinking skills and personal and professional growth. What I want to say here is that the definitions of mentoring, as you can see the words in bold here in my presentation, are always focused on the same definitions, uh, the same words, sorry. Help, guidance, advice, support, development, progress, uh, guidance, change, reflect, question, development, developing, expertise, knowledge, which means that these are the adjectives which define the mentors. People want to help, people want to guide, people want to be an orientation, people who want to help with a change, okay? Mentoring can be a solution for your career or for anyone career, anyone's career or for a career of any of your friends, students, colleagues, doesn't matter. Because with mentoring, uh, you can find the career path, the correct career pathway and understand the place in the area of studies. Because sometimes people say, oh, I want to study economy because I want to save the world from hunger, from hunger. Okay, great, that's awesome. And then you, you are going to study economics and you don't learn how to save the world from hunger. You will learn other things. So it's quite disappointing. So you need to know if you are in the correct way. The importance of having a good resume, essential. Uh, professional orientation, because if you need help, you will need somebody to guide you. Online profiles, oh, mentoring usually works with this, the mentors, uh, to improve the, the online profiles, LinkedIn, for example, understand the world which will be faced, active learning with mentors, failures, and successes. I am, a, there's a C missing there, sorry. Um, I am a mentor myself, and I'm writing my PhD on mentoring, and it, it's the part that the mentees love the most, to learn with my failures and successes, because they think we are mentors, we are perfect. So we are not perfect, no one is. And lead by example. Sometimes people go and work as mentors because it's chic or because they want to be recognized. Mentoring is not chic, it's something that comes from inside of you. So if you want to be a mentor, you need to think about it very seriously. If you want to be a mentee, of course you have to do the same. So after this, I'm going to stop sharing because it's boring for you to see my screen all this time. And um, I wanted to thank you. I hope fully think that um, these uh, topics are interesting for you and that you become interested in mentoring and CPD. And I hope I was not too boring. I know it's um, sometimes it's hard to keep people focused, but I tried the best as the best I could. And um, um, it was a pleasure to be here again. And I truly hope that we can meet in person in 2022 when all this craziness of the virus ends, hopefully, uh, from my, for my country and the rest of the world, of course. And um, I hope that I've shared some interesting information with all of you. And uh, thank you so much for being here. Thanks.